going on. So, yes, I'm watching me some Wimbledon as I always have since way back in the day. Um, obviously, I'm rooting for Roger Federer, who I consider the king of men's tennis. And I'm pulling for Serena Williams, who I consider the queen. The baddest two. They defy time. They defy logic. I've never seen, I've been watching tennis for a long time. I've never seen a man or woman who can dominate and just bring it year and year, decade after decade, era after era. All the young upstarts, all the people that come along, and they just be wailing on it. And I just got through seeing Roger Federer told his opponent before he made it to the third round, the tank is full. And I'm like, romp, romp, like Scooby-Doo. I mean, Roger ain't playing. He is ruthless with it, and Serena too. They stay beasting. They stay on. They stay stacking that jewelry. Uh, you may kiss a plate. They be kissing trophies. That's how they come. That's how they roll. That's why they're the king and queen of men's and women's tennis, respectively. Amazing, because back in the day, if you made it to like twenty five, thirty, that was getting your grandma, grandpa age in tennis, because most times they start as teens. So to see what they're doing plus 30 and still dominate at a higher level that you got to deal with them. And they're not on no, they're not on no mixed doubles. They're not doing, um, you know, uh, you know, oldies, but goodies. They play in top tier ball. They bust in cakes. So, you know, and I want to give a quick shout out to Roger and uh, Rafael Nadal because he won today. And. If it wasn't for the greatness of Roger Federer, Nadal in history books, it depends on who you talk to, but they'd be even higher. But just give him a quick shout out. But Roger Federer has been the baddest male tennis player I've ever seen. And I I go back, you know, all due respect and the times I've seen from Arthur Ashe, Jimmy Connors, Beyond Board, John McElroy, I can name names off the dome to get the Agassi, to got Pete Sampras and all that. And on the women's side with Martina Neville Tolova, Billie Jean King, Chris Everett Oyd, Martina Hingis, Steffi Graf, Monica Sellers. I can go on, on that side too. And respect the Venus Williams too, because uh, you'd have told me 10, 15, 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, who would have been the two? I'd have said Venus, because Venus had like the versatile game. She was like, her structure and style was almost like a female uh, Hakeem Elijah one. The way she could attack the the, the, the the net and she was versatile. But Serena with the power. And she just kept adding to a game. And the flavor kept going and going. And she'd just be busting. So you never know how these things going to turn out. But uh, and Serena's been like unstoppable. She's I put her like 1-1A one one with Tiger Woods as far as the baddest. Like far as you're asking me the last 20 plus years. Serena. I think Serena belongs in an argument with, with Federal Barry Bonds. Tiger Woods is the baddest athlete. The last 20 plus years. That's my personal opinion on that. But they all in there. But either way, um, I watch Wimbledon and I'm rooting for Roger Federer and Serena Williams to get some more jewelry because that's what. But Wimbledon's always a fun time. So anyway, give me your thoughts and your takes. Who's your all time favorite male and female tennis player? How you feel about Roger? How you feel about Serena? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe when the bell rings a new video. And it's time to sip that tea. Peace.